for watching Go Engineer Quick Tips by Bruce Schaller. I'm going to show you how to create an edge gate or fan gate inside of the SolidWorks Plastics program. To begin with, we need to go create the geometry size for the representation and location of the gate. So I'll start by clicking on this face and creating the sketch geometry that I'll use for a split line. If I want to center this geometry to standard constraint methods, generally an edge gate will be about 75% of the depth of part or the thickness of the part and the width is generally about two times the depth in there, just as a general rule of thumb. So from here, I really just need to go in and create a split line using that geometry onto the face. And that's all this pre-setup I need to do before going into the SolidWorks Plastics program. So in the plastics program, we have to use solid meshing. If we're going to use the fan gates using this technique or edge gates using this technique, we're going to need to use solid meshing. I don't think it requires any particular type, just as long as you're in the solid mesh. So I'll go ahead and mesh it. I do want to make sure I get enough elements to have that area filled in. So. I'll mesh it with 0.5 and you can see this is my bounding area for my edge gate here. Again, you can use any of these types I've tried and they all work. I'm creating the same geometry. So from here we'll really want to go in and turn on our cavity visibility and our mesh on our model so we can actually see those elements because we're going to be picking them for the gate. So turn that on and the mesh model and you can see this area right in here. So you'd go through the standard setup and when you get to gate selection this is what you do different. First you have to remember that you need to place that typical gate Okay, you need to go in and add a gate so you've got that gate in there. And then the way the software works is once you have the gate in there, you can select that gate and tell it what type of gate it is right here. This is the trick. You just go in and click on face gate after you've got that gate selected. And then you can go in and select the elements that make up the size of that edge gate. Go ahead and check that. And no longer is it just the conic with the millimeter size and diameter for the gate. It's going to represent the edge gate and the scar location and size that that gate was made up of. Thanks for watching Go Engineer Quick Tips on how to create edge gates or fan gates in SolidWorks Plastics.